showing up in the traps of Maine lobstermen, often becoming viral sensations. Lobsters that come in a range of colors from orange to yellow to blue, so rare, the odds of finding some of these crustaceans can be one in 50 million. A University of New England professor and a team of students now are using DNA testing method methods to try to solve the mystery behind the odd colored lobsters. New Center Maine's Vivian Lee has our story from Bitterford. Over the past couple of years, these large tanks at the University of New England have become home to a menagerie of rare colored lobsters donated by lobstermen trawling in the Gulf of Maine. We used them for our outreach, for education, um, but we didn't do um, real research with them. Marcus Friedrich is a professor of marine sciences at UNE, but that changed after the university received donations of two rare colored lobsters. Fig, who was originally blue, but his color changed to purple as he grew, and Peaches, an orange one-clawed lobster caught in Casco Bay. Donations that are presenting an opportunity to try to solve the mystery of why these lobsters come in different colors. Frederick says there is no evidence pointing to radiation or pollution. Those different um, colorations come from different mutations in the genome, but those mutations happen automatically. And there are plenty of test subjects ranging from orange, yellow, and calico varieties, including Skittles. The chances of finding another one is one in 30 million. The most rare one is a bright white one, which I have never seen before. I would be happy to. Yes. Research that could also lead to answers about lobsters like current, with a line down its back showing two colors, mottled brown and blue. Donated by a Booth Bay resident, current was two animals in the early embryonic stage. Larvae of a blue lobster fused together with the larvae of one of those regular card lobsters, like conjoined twins, grow up into this one animal. Peaches is also giving researchers a unique opportunity to study lobsters at a very young life stage. In May or June, we expect those eggs to hatch. As larvae. After arriving at UNE, Peaches released thousands of eggs she carried on the underside of her tail. And the idea is to now figure out how many of the offspring of this orange lobster are orange themselves, how many have the regular color. At some point, the brightly colored lobsters will be returned to the ocean. But first, researchers are trying to develop non-invasive ways to extract DNA samples from the lobsters to find out why they're hatched in different colors. Student researchers are also examining if the rare colored lobsters are affected by water temperatures, diet, and what kind of role could this play for the future of the species. In Biddeford, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine. Researchers are expected to release some findings within the next year or so. UNE, by the way, has also received permission from the Department of Marine Resources to study undersized and egg-carrying lobsters.